channel. Today we're doing a how to book Orlando, Florida, Walt Disney World holiday tips. How yeah. we book it, how we decide on where we're going, what we're doing, when we're going, where we're staying, all that stuff. Yes. So we've sort of like written some notes and we're referring to our little book but first of all we decide when we're going. So we think that's yeah. the first thing that anyone wanting to book an Orlando Walt Disney World holiday um, that's the first port of call. So because it's just two of us, we can literally go any time of year, can't we? Yes. But if you are restricted school holidays, it is going to be, it's going to be busy regardless, isn't it? Yeah. So generally when we go, it is, <laughs> Doug wants me to throw his toy, it is outside of school holidays. Um, if you have got kids and you can't take them out of school, then obviously school holidays is the only option you've got. Um, with that in mind, there are different, obviously different school holidays. So, and you've got different events on at Disney during those school holidays, haven't you? Yep. Like, obviously you've got the Very Merry Christmas Party, the Not So Scary Halloween Party, there's Food and Wine, there's Festival of the Holidays, Festival of the Arts, um, Flower and Garden. So, if you're going, this applies to any time really, doesn't it? Yes. If there's something that you really want to do, sort of figure out if there's any of those events or festivals that you want to do and that'll help decide what time of year you want to go as well. Yes. We found that May, beginning of May especially is quite quiet, isn't it? Weather's really nice. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. really warm, extremely humid, rains a little bit, but the weather's nice and it's quite quiet, isn't it? So if yes. you've got the option of any time, Last that's time good. we went in May, we went towards the end of May. Yeah, purely because of, it was a last minute booking and I was restricted on when we could go, wasn't yeah. it? We wanted to go at the beginning but of May. But the weather was roasting. Yeah. Nice. The later it got, because we were, I think we flew out and the, flew home on like the second of June or something. Yeah, something the closer like it got to June, the hotter it got as well, didn't it? But June's also quite quiet, but it's extremely hot, isn't it? Yeah. Um, November's really nice. It's the weather's quite mild. It's warm, but it's like British summer warm, isn't it? It's not yes, like yeah. it's not like roasting hot, but it's still warm, like yeah. high twenties, isn't it? Um, it doesn't rain as much. You've got um, depending on when you go, you'll have the very merry Christmas party. Um, and food and wine festival as well haven't you so yeah. November's a really good time we recommend that generally what we do once we've picked up the month that we're going we go on to um, a website called dad's guide to Walt Disney World and they have like a table where they've got every day of the year and they've got them in colors so they'll have like green which is like light crowds blue which is like moderate yellow which is heavy red wall to wall and they put black as don't even blame me. So we'll put a link to that below because that's really good to refer back to. Yeah, it's if you quite are a good, flexible quick chart. On, on dates because it's really easy to see exactly what yeah. you're looking at. So yeah, obviously picking your time of year and your dates is the first port of call, isn't it? And if you are yeah. flexible on dates, what we would say is when you are pricing up the holiday, put in the week that you want to go. Check the week before and the week after. Yeah. And because the first time we ever went to Florida, our plan was to go over Halloween, wasn't it? Yes. And for the two of us, it was about six or seven hundred pounds cheaper to go the week after. Yeah. Which is why we went in the beginning of November, and that's how we know about November being nice as well, isn't it? So do yeah. that as well. Um, the next thing to think about is where you want to stay. We're limited on this, aren't we? We're limited. Yeah. From our, our experience is limited. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <sighs> Yeah, International Drive, we've stayed there twice. Our next day coming up in 40 days time. Yep. Um, we're staying on property, Coronado Springs, as you probably know from watching the other vlogs. But yeah, um, both have the pros, both have the cons, I suppose. Um, They're not your only options, you've got Universal. Oh, no, 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 you yeah. can do split space between Universal and Disney, we'll, split between International Drive and Disney. Yeah, we you can get a villa. Started looking at next year, and we have literally got looking at every option because we're, we're, we're totally open to do it, any of it. Um, yeah. And the mind is blown. Really. Yeah, the options are basically limitless, aren't they? Yes, yeah. And like we said, you've got your pros and cons for each one. Like if you're staying on Disney, we've done that on purpose this time because we want to be part of that Disney bubble, which you get from staying on Disney property. Yes. Um, however, we have seen other people and other vloggers that have 
usually stayed on International Drive in a villa and then they've gone and stayed on property and they feel restricted. Yeah. Um, so they've gone back and reverted to being in a villa or International Drive. International Drive is generally hotels, so it's a place to sleep basically, isn't it? Yes. Um, yeah. and There's plenty of stuff to do on, it, on iDrive. Uh, so. Yeah, we like iDrive, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Re so many restaurants, um, loads of sort of attractions to do, isn't there? So you've got yes. that on iDrive as well. So that's a good thing about staying on iDrive. You're not far from Disney, you're not far from Universal, you're not far from SeaWorld, you're not far from Walmart. You've got everything you need around your international drive, yeah. so that's another good thing. Same as Kissing Me or anywhere like that. Um, staying at Universal, again, we've never stayed at Universal, but a lot of the hotels offer either early access, the same way that Disney does Extra Magic Hours, yeah. or some you get Express Pass as well, don't yes, you? Yes, you do. So yeah. some certain hotels you'll get an Express Pass for to, Universal as well. To be honest, um, it's worth looking into if you're going to book a mainly Disney holiday with a couple of days in Universal. It, worth looking into just staying one night at a Universal Hotel because you get the Express Pass for the day yeah. before you stay and the day after. Yeah. So it is worth having a quick look around. Again, we've seen lots of people where they'll do, say, two nights at Universal and then 12 nights at Disney or three or four nights at Universal, 10 nights at Disney. Yeah. So we've seen a lot of people do that and do their Universal at the beginning of the holiday and then do the whole of Disney at the end. So that's another yeah, thing we've seen. Yeah, it's something that we're looking at doing next year maybe. Yeah. Yeah. The other good, the other option is a villa. You've got your whole family. Um, if you're gonna do it on a budget, I'd say a villa is probably the best option. If it's just two adults like us, generally a villa is more expensive and it doesn't work yeah, out doesn't cost work effective. Out, yeah. um, but if there's more of you and you've got a family, a villa is really good. Generally, you get your own pool. You get obviously more than one room. You've yeah. got cooking facilities. So some of them look amazing as well. They, they really do. do you, you get like a little sport, like a little we have just activity room. Yesterday, like no, last week, to infinity and beyond, put their travel day up, and they put the apartment. I'd say it's an apartment, not a villa. Yeah. They say that, and that was amazing. So we'll link that video down below, and that where they're staying at the minute, where they stayed previously, their looks, recent looks trip yeah. is amazing. Yeah, well, absolutely phenomenal though. It, yeah, that's a lovely uh, complex up there, they say that. But you've got the option then to, to cook your own food, go to Walmart, do your shopping. A lot of villas will have a barbecue, so you can have a barbecue and things. So we do want to experience that as well, don't we? Yes. So yeah, we would like yeah. to get a villa or an apartment or something to to experience that side of it as well. But we, we, yeah, we also kind of wonder, how cheap can you do it? I know that... Yeah. I mean, obviously, we you, everyone spends a lot of money, works hard, spends a lot of money on the holiday, and sometimes on your holiday you don't want to be cheap. You want to just be able to go to it for it. Which is, I get that. Which is what we're doing this trip. Yes. This trip is an all-out. We've spent a whole lot of money yes. just getting there without spending money, haven't we? Yes, yeah, but so I kind of do want to try and do it on. Well, I wouldn't say a shoe strip and I'd just say how cheap can, can you yeah, do it? How yeah. cheap can you do it? Sort of keep track of what you're spending and stuff like that, especially if we're gonna compare it to doing the Disney Dino plan, which we have got, for, got this time. for free. We we had the upgrade on but you get most of it for free. Yeah. That's another so, thing that might sway when you stay as well, is when they're offering the dining plan as well. Yeah. So that yeah. might be another thing that off sways when you stay. Another thing we didn't mention is length of time. We generally would say 10 nights to 14 nights yeah. is what you need for Orlando. You can do it in seven. It's just you'd probably have to either do Disney or Universal, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, or maybe one day at Universal, the rest at Disney. You would be limited on the amount of stuff you can do. Yes. That UK Disney couple went in June for a week, didn't they? And they just did Disney. Yes. So, uh, they, sorry, they just did Universal. Oh, um, right, yeah. Yeah, didn't they? I don't know, did they not go to Disney at all? They went to H2O Glow Nights. All right, yeah. Didn't they? But yeah, they basically just did Universal. So you are quite limited if you do want to go for a week, but you can still do it. Um, Plus, price-wise, if you look at the prices, two weeks is not much more than a week. No. Excluding spends, obviously. Yes, apart so, yeah, yes, yeah. Apart from the spend and money, yeah, yeah. Generally, if you're doing Disney, you get a seven, a 14-day pass for the price of seven as well, so your park tickets generally don't really... Mm vary either so yeah. but linking on to that is spending money obviously if you've got the dining plan theoretically you don't need any spending money other than tips 
because obviously yes. tips in America are not included in the cost of your meal. So other than tips, you theoretically don't need any spending money. So on that aspect, just take what you can afford. We yeah. would say, don't yeah. don't think that you've got to take thousands and thousands of dollars. That's definitely not the case, is it? Take what you can afford. I don't, I don't think we want for not having Disney on the dining plan. Looking at it, we've never done it obviously, yeah. but looking at it, Everyone's always got snack credits left. Yeah. They're trying to. And our aim is to have no snack credits left by the end. My aim is to spend everything and not be rushing around thinking, oh, we'll get a packet of this, what you don't really want. Yeah. My aim is to literally eat and drink and consume use all the snack credits. Yeah. But yeah, that's a spending money. So when we go normally and we don't have the dining plan, we would say around $100 a day for food for the two of us. Yeah, it's some, some days you'll be, it'll be cheaper than that and obviously some days you'll have a fancy meal and it'll be double that. But yeah, on average though, $100 yes, a day is yeah. what we take. That's what we budget for, yeah. And we did the same when we went to California, didn't we? Yes. Same when we were in Vegas last year. Yes. Um, just, that is just generally. And a lot of people I've known have said that like, California's really expensive compared to Florida, but we didn't find that, did we? We found no. that on our honeymoon. And we went to Vegas last year, $100 a day was sufficient for yeah. food. Because it's easy sufficient, isn't it? And like we said, that you, that varies for your meals as well. You can have a Denny's breakfast and like a nice meal in the evening. Yeah. Or like a nice-ish meal in the evening. Or you can have like a McDonald's breakfast and you can have a really nice meal in the evening. Or you can just eat fast food all day. And like yeah. we said, the prices will vary. And if you're staying in the villa and you're shopping, then really you haven't got to spend that at all on food. But yeah. So that is food. Next we would say is decide what parks you're going to. Generally you're going to Disney, aren't you? Generally. Generally, more often than yes. not. You go into Florida to go to Disney World. So yeah, that is um, gonna be a big chunk of people's holiday, isn't it? Yes. I do but, I do feel that all the others are worth going to. Yeah, definitely. 100%. We have done Disney Universal, Busch Gardens, SeaWorld, we've done the Kennedy Space Centre um, and we enjoyed them all, we did. Yeah. We have only been to Busch Gardens and SeaWorld once. Yes. But we, we would recommend them, so decide on what parks you want to do, um, how many days you want to spend at those parks. I would say Busch Gardens is a one day park, SeaWorld is a one day park, Kennedy Space Centre was a one day park. Universal generally we do in two. Yeah, generally. Then we normally do a water park for a day, this year being Volcano Bay because we've yes. never done it, and then the rest of your time between Disney and rest days because you don't want to overdo it because you're going to weigh yourself out. So make an itinerary would be, decide on your parks and make an itinerary would be like the next step, definitely. This year we are only doing. You want to come with us, Bobby? <laughs> this year we're only doing Disney and Universal, so we're missing out the other parks. Um, just because we're staying at Disney, so we wanted it to be a Disney-focused trip mostly, didn't we? Yes. Um, next would be probably where to book your holiday. We have booked through different avenues each time, haven't we? Yes. Basically, every time we've been to America, it's been booked differently, hasn't yes. it? So our first trip to Florida, we booked through what was then Thompson is now Chewy, and that was a big, that was a whole package thing, wasn't it? So yes. we got the hotel, all of our tickets, our flights, um, car, absolutely everything in one package, didn't we? Yes. Last time we went to Disney, we booked through Thomas Cook. Um, that was just flights and hotel, and then we booked our car separately through Alamo. Yes. This year we booked um, our park tickets our dining plan and hotel directly through Disney. We booked our Universal tickets through, through um, Florida Ticks and we booked our flights with Virgin. Yes. When we went to California, I know this is a Walt Disney World one, but just saying like how many different ways we want to book, we booked our flights through BA. Yep. We booked our Disney and Universal tickets through Attraction Tickets and we booked all our hotels through Booking.com, didn't we? And our yes. car through Alamo. When we went to Vegas, we flew with BA, I think again, wasn't yes, it? We flew was, through yeah. BA and we booked our hotel through booking.com again, didn't we? Yes. So there is literally unlimited ways you can book it. I would say price up as a package because it's easier. Some of the package prices are quite good, actually. 
the price we got with Thomas Cook to go last uh, in May 2017, if we'd have got it at the beginning of May, we'd have got it for about £1,200. Just two under. Weeks, just yeah. for two weeks, actually. Two weeks with the, the car. The problem is with when you book the car, um, then you have to upgrade the insurance because the insurance is basic. So I think it was going to cost us £300 to upgrade the insurance. Yes. Whereas we could book a car through Alamo for 280 quid, fully inclusive. Yeah, so we that's just, what we did. So I know it's only minimal difference, but you're better off than just ignoring the car that you've got through Thomas Cook and booking the you car. Can act, you can't actually not book the insurance through Thomas Cook or whichever travel agent you're going through. And you can actually book, get your own insurance for two weeks. I was yeah. there, it's actually quite cheap. I've never tried it. We've never it. tried it though. We wouldn't even know where to start. No, we wouldn't know where to start, but I've heard you can get it for about £80. It's just going through Thomas Cook, which, which is now going out of business. <laughs> you you might not be going through Thomas yeah, Cook ever going again. going through but, yeah. Virgin and, and, and they do all the work for you, but that's yeah. why it costs so much, whereas I believe you can do it yourself for around £80. So, so it's worth probably, looking into if, you, if you're looking to bring the price down. Yeah, that's probably the best bet then, isn't it, I would say? Yes. We would say then, definitely price it up with a travel agent first, wouldn't we? Yes. Get that as your base price, price it up with Disney, see what you can get with Disney, and then try it separately. Mm. Um, would be, I mean, we spent hours looking for the best price and the best deals and the best whatnot, but generally we would either go to BA or Virgin for flights. We've signed up for air miles, so we're going to be sticking with Virgin for flights, aren't we, at the yeah. minute? Um, Go I, to. Yeah. I, I, for some reason, I prefer Virgin flights. I don't know I've why. I've never flown with Virgin, so why. I'm excited. But um, yeah, so find out who does flights. Norwegian apparently do really good flights, and they're relatively cheap. But they, yeah. I think, only fly from Gatwick to Orlando. But you can go to Tampa or Miami, I think, with Norwegian as well. Yes. And then with your hotels, you can book them along with your flights with Virgin and BA, you can go on booking.com, you can go on late rooms, you can go on the websites directly with the hotels and book your hotel that way. And then with your tickets, you can go on the, either directly to Disney, which last time when we went with Thomas Cook, we didn't include this, but we booked our di tickets directly through Disney then as well, didn't we? Because we yes. got 25% off, but we've got them. Um, we're really lucky and got them with a deal, didn't we? Yes, yeah. Um, and I think we booked Universal directly with Universal, didn't we actually? I can't, can't remember. remember, but anyway, so that's another thing. But yeah, there's so, there's so many ways you can book it. It's just shopping around, shop, shop, shop. And just take your time shopping around is the best thing to find mm. the best deal for you. Yeah. That is what we'd say, isn't it? And if you are looking at the, sorry Dougie, if you are looking at the being three, four, five year, you might be better off going and booking a villa because you're not paying per person then like, like you are with a package. No. You're just paying, say, £1,500 for your villa for two weeks and then you're paying for your flights and then your Disney tickets whereas if you were to book where your flights generally we would say range between about five six hundred pounds depending on when you go yes. that's generally what we pay for flights to America in general isn't it so say you've got five people you pay £1,500 for a villa for two weeks you pay £500 each for your flights and then you pay £400 each for your Disney tickets that's cost £1,400 each. Yes. Whereas, for example, you go then to um, Tui or Thomas Cook or wherever, and it's gonna cost you £1,900 for your park tickets, your flight, and your villa through them all together. Yes. Because they're doing the whole package for you. So it's definitely worth shopping around, isn't it? And there is there is websites out there with, uh, with British people that have villas out there, rent the villas out. Yeah worth looking at for, for another option um because obviously you may know people there's, there's a guy in our work that's got a villa that well yeah so you might you might even yeah. have a friend of a friend of a friend who's got a villa they can get it you even cheaper anyway yeah. might, they? so yeah. it's worth asking about with things like that because a lot of people do have villas out there actually um the next thing we would say is the prep once you've booked it and um, if you don't know there are thousands of vlogs out there that yes. are probably more helpful than more this one to be fair yeah. <laughs> but if you've never been to disney before number one you're missing out so get it booked and number two if you're staying at disney this is more important than if you're not staying but you can book your restaurants 180 days out which is six months um so we literally had to have all our itineraries all our 
plans yeah. done and set in stone 180 days it is before you go i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit weird because you don't know what you're gonna fancy you don't know sometimes I mean, so, sometimes in the hot weather you just want like a salad or something and we may have booked like a burger joint in the for oh, lunch time and, and then, yeah, you just want a salad and exactly yeah so you don't know what you're gonna want to eat you've just gotta go go for it really yeah so your restaurants you book 180 days out but they can be amended up yeah. to a, a day before yeah. it just depends on if you really want that California Grill reservation, that needs to be booked 180 days, doesn't it? Needs yes. to be because there won't be any left. And then your fast passes. If you're staying at Disney, you can book those 60 days, and if you're staying off site, it's 30 days, isn't it? Yeah. And then it's like apps. My Disney experience, you literally cannot do Disney without my Disney experience, no. can you? And then the Play Disney app, Play Disney Parks app. Is that what's called? Play Disney Parks. Yeah. As well, so that's another good app to download for that's more when you're in the parks isn't it yes. um so yeah that yeah that's it but another thing as well really is it, obviously if you're booking it all separately you've got to pay so if you book your flight you've got to pay for your flights there and then if you book your hotel oh, right, you've yes. got to pay for your yes. hotel yeah if you book your park tickets you've got to pay for your park tickets yeah. whereas with a travel agent or booking through disney you can pay it in steps so that's another thing to think about when yes, booking it, is, isn't yeah. it? Like yeah. when we booked our honeymoon, we had to book and pay for the flights there and then. Yes. The hotels were all pay on arrival, weren't they? Yes. So we had to then put that money aside and make sure we had all that money there to pay for the hotels when we got there. Yeah. Whereas with a travel agent, you can spread your cost up to 12 weeks before you go, can't you? So that's a, yes. a even if it is going to be slightly more, that if that's a better op option for you, it might be worth paying that extra £100 to split the cost. Yeah. So yeah. Um, watch vlogs is, the, is the, the next thing isn't it watch vlogs watch them for a whole year before you go because you'll never learn too much will you no what, what I will say is if you're thinking about it and you've never actually done it and you've never been to Disney and you've always thought oh, I'd love to go to Florida but it's out of our price range it's not well we thought we thought that and then we priced it all up and thought yeah it is expensive but just do it. Just book it a year and a half in advance if you have to, do you know what I mean? And just, just do it, save up, yeah. get it done. You won't regret it, it's amazing holiday. And if you've got a, a bloke in the family who's thinking, oh, I'm not really, you know, Disney, it's, or, you know, it's not like that when you get there, is it? No. no. So every bloke that I know who's been to Disney. The rides are good. What, I don't get what there's not to like. It's to be like honest. the best theme park but, in the world. But we are obviously massive Disney fans, so, but yeah. I just don't get what there's not to like. I know people that go to Florida and spend one day at Disney and then spend the rest elsewhere. Which is bizarre. Well, two is, yeah, two is bizarre, but yeah. But anyway, yeah, watch vlogs and we've got like a list of some of our favourite vlogs, haven't we? So definitely check them out. We'll link them all below. Um, along with the to infinity and beyond vlog where they've yes. got that amazing apartment as well and wow <laughs> what are you doing it's attention mate so we'll link them all below um the most popular one and the one everyone knows about is tim tracker he him and jen his wife they live in florida don't they yes. so they basically do pretty much daily vlogs let's be honest if you're watching this you probably watch tim tracker and if you have there's something crazy going <laughs> yeah, on yeah tim tracker so we literally watch them every day don't we pretty much yeah yeah so they live in florida they go to the parks regularly um they do a lot of things outside the parks good tips and they they just there's a lot of information about not so much planning and stuff like that because they live there but yeah just florida information just florida in general, in general yeah, yeah so that's really good um disney in detail another one she goes a lot she's a dbc member she 100% knows what she's talking yes. about, doesn't she? Yep. So that's another good one. Yeah, if she says something, then it, that is probably 99.9% .9 gonna be the case, isn't it? So yeah. she knows. Um, some of our favorites are Yaz and Ash. They've been quite a few times, haven't they? Yeah. Um, they're a young couple and they, they've been a lot, they've stayed at Disney and off Disney, I believe, haven't they? Yes. Um, another one is Sean and Callum. Um, they haven't long been there now dbc members as well yeah. they've got two little girls so they're good if you've got a family and you want to watch more sort of family stuff and not just adults so they're really good for that 
magical moments are an American family from Georgia, I believe. Yes. That again is um, a mum, dad, and two kids, so they're good for families as well. And then the last one is DFB Guide. Oh, there's another one as well. Go on. on. That UK Disney couple. Oh, that UK Disney couple. They're another couple, yeah. We have mentioned them, so we'll link them below as well anyway, but they're really good. They, um, they're good for their honesty. That's yes. what we like about them, isn't it? Yep. They don't sugarcoat anything. If there's something they don't like, whereas I think we tend to go, oh, but this and... Oh, but it's okay oh, a lot, a lot, that, a lot of people do. A lot of people sort. I'm not saying suck up to Disney. I'm not saying that. A lot of people sort of say, um, when something was bad, they don't say it was bad. They sort of say, they put a positive spin on things. Yeah. I can't explain it. Whereas these guys, they will tell you exactly how it is, and we and absolutely they feel about it, which, which is love good. that, don't yeah. we? Yeah. So yeah. they're really good. And then the last one was Disney Food Blog DFB Guide. Everything you need to know about food in Disney. <laughs> is on this channel. They have eaten at every single Disney restaurant, haven't they? Yeah. Fast food, quick service, table service, two table service, all the festivals, everything you need to know food-wise about Disney is on this channel, isn't it? Yes. So we'll link all of those below, so go and check them out, subscribe to them all because they are really good watching. informative, good watching, fun to watch. Especially when you get to us and you're 40 days out and you can't wait to get there. Oh yeah. It's like... Oh, another one's come on from someone. Let's watch it. Yeah. So with into with to infinity and beyond, they've literally just come back. So they've got two from their recent trip uploaded, haven't they? Yes. So like every week before we go, we're like really excited because we're about to watch theirs, and they've not yeah. long been. And that UK Disney couple are about to go back, aren't they? Yes. Tomorrow. Yes. Tuesday. No. Or literally. Twenty sixth, is it? They're in fact they'll already be there when this video goes up. Yes. They will. They will be yeah, they there will. when this video goes up. Yeah. So definitely check them out. Um, Sean and Callum. They're going back very soon as well, aren't they? Yeah. To be honest, most of these will be Disney in detail are there at the minute. Yaz and Ash, they go just after us. <laughs> so watch them all because they're either there or they're going soon anyway. So definitely check all them out. But yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. Yep. It's probably not the best video. It's our first informative booking type video, isn't it? Yeah, we, we, um, I'm kind of aware that everyone has Google. so. We're just here to like point you in the right direction, not to give you facts, that's the way I see it. It's our opinions, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, I think yeah. facts are best left for you to... F to find yourself, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching. We hope you've found out some information or maybe even some new vloggers to watch because that is basically how we spend 90% of our life, is watching vloggers. <laughs> yes. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon. Peace out. This dog is crazy. Say goodbye, doggy. Bye, Dougie.